All right. The clock has just struck midnight. Here at Walmart, Bravo and I are not going anywhere until we pop a six. Booyah! First time. I think it's meant to be, buddy. I think it's meant to be. You ready to go inside and look for some trouble? What do you think? Can you please just leave me in the bloody car? I have a reputation to uphold. I am the new voice of the silent minority. And I really don't feel like bailing you out of jail. Well, I always feel bad about dogs that are left behind in the car, but since Bravo was a husky and... Uh, well suited to cold weather i think it's safe to leave him in the car i don't think he's going to freeze to death he can guard uh the box of trouble that i purchased here at walmart not that long ago it looks like it got run over by a bulldozer but there's my six in the game of trouble things don't really start until you pop your first six and that's kind of why i'm here Ugh. Now, normally, I don't film these films for anybody in particular, but I have a feeling that today, whew, kind of cold out here, I might be sending this day's footage to some people that are on a board to make the world a better place in honor of a young friend of mine that uh, made the world a better place, kind of like I try to do each and every day. I need to find the grader here at Walmart. Uh, make sure that I'm not up to any funny business. Here's my good man. How's it going, my good man? I would just like to point out, I'm bringing in my trouble game into, into Walmart. I'm not stealing this, okay. okay? I'm doing a little bit of a project that involves trouble. Now, I bought this game of trouble, I wanna say about a week ago. And when I last was in the toy department, there was only one copy of trouble left. And it was even more beat up than the one that I purchased. So I'm hoping that it's still there. And I can buy that and make the world a better place with it. I play games all the time with kids. It's what I do for a living. It's my job. I take care of kids at a hospital. And I got to spend a lot of quality time playing games like Sorry, Candyland, and of course, Trouble. Now there's an urban legend at my hospital about a game of trouble where it was me versus three opponents and the entire game the entire game I never popped one six so basically I just sat on my hands for about 32 minutes and did nothing except pop and pop ones twos threes fours and fives and you would not believe how much that delighted the children they were less concerned about winning the game as delighting in my misery at not being able to pop a six. I'll see if I can do it again. See if the second time's a charm. Nope. Ah, not bad, not bad at all. But uh, I've calculated the mathematical probability of going about 80 turns in trouble without ever popping a six. It's pretty, uh, infinitesimally small now what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna buy probably mm, at least two or three copies of trouble <sighs> and I'm gonna share this story with the world and I'm gonna make sure that a copy of the game trouble along with the story goes to this family right here this is a family that's very special to me that has five women in it it's a, it's a family of one guy and a lot of pretty ladies. And sometimes in life, trouble strikes. This family dealt with breast cancer. It dealt with brain cancer. It dealt with a great flood that basically 
almost destroyed their home in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, uh, a city that's right on the lake, the Lake Winnebago. And a fundraiser was held for these good people to help them and help them with their trouble. It was a very touching and uh, generous thing. And terribly, the money that was raised for that fundraiser was stolen by somebody. Now, what I did is, what I did was I stepped in and I replaced the money that was stolen. Um, it seemed like the right thing to do. And in doing that, it's kind of put me in a bond into, uh, I don't know, I feel like I'm almost part of this family now. And just recently, I dropped in on them again and I gave them money for a board game. I said, do you guys sit around the table and play board games like my family does? And they said, absolutely, of course they do. And then I uh, gave them my card and I wrote on the back of the card another website that is just as important as mine. And um, I'm going to go to great lengths to try to make sure that this website has a lot more publicity and a lot more uh, energy spent than this one. If I had uh, a wish, it would be for everybody in the world to see this website, not this one. I want people to see this one sometime long after I'm gone, but uh, I'm hoping that doesn't happen for a long, long time because there's a lot of things that I can do to help make the world a better place. Now, there's not much you can do in trouble if someone can't pop that six. And this game, it's kind of like a microcosm of the world, at least in America it is. Everybody's scrambling over each other, trying to get ahead, trying to win, bumping people back, sending them back to start, to start all over again. What's really nice is when someone's in trouble, the game stops, and the people that are doing okay, that have their pegs out, they're moving, they're moving along, say, hey, you know what? Take my turn. Try to get your six. I mean, if more people could do that, just stop what they're doing when they see someone in trouble, and let them take their pop to get their six, the world would be a, a lot, a lot better place. And I even think Bravo, the pessimistic, uh, cynical dog, would agree with that. So anybody that sees this message, I hope you visit this place. And I hope you see an act of bravery that I hope lives long on after I'm gone.